The clutch in a car connects to the flywheel of the engine on one end and to the gearbox on the other. But why do we need a clutch between the engine and the gearbox? The clutch plate, surrounded by a circle of high-friction composite materials, features a spline in the middle. This spline connects to the transmission shaft of the gearbox, allowing it to move left and right within a small range. When the clutch is pressed, the clutch plate separates from the engine's flywheel, disconnecting the engine power without turning off the engine. This enables smooth gear shifting. Upon releasing the clutch, the clutch plate tightly engages with the engine's flywheel, causing the gearbox to rotate quickly with the engine. Now how is the clutch plate pressed onto the flywheel? The answer lies in the clutch pressure plate, which connects to the clutch housing externally and can move up and down. A grinding spring sits between the housing and the pressure plate. When pressure is applied to the center of the spring, the outer ring lifts and releases, returning to its original position when the diaphragm is pressed. Finally, the assembled clutch, pressure plate, clutch plate, and flywheel work together. Those four springs on the clutch plate serve as buffers, ensuring smooth power connection and protecting the engine during sudden clutch engagement. For more informative content on 3D mechanics, feel free to like and follow.